folks I'm just jumping in really quickly with a requested video and that was to see my current altar space now because most of it is predominantly um on patreon already i did a whole witch room tour albeit it was just before my altar changed and the shelving appeared which i'm loving because i really went into depth with it on my patreon i kind of want to make sure that i differentiate between the content on there and the content on youtube but i know that not everyone can join patreon and I figured I would just come on and do like a light altar show and tell very very briefly. It probably looks like a mess to you, I don't know. I really don't like the wallpaper but that's a side note. We rent, it is what it is. So as you saw it's kind of a, a strange little table. It's meant to be a dining room table, it's completely square. It actually has two chairs usually either side of it which I have literally just pushed out of frame <laughs> and I try and sling things over the chairs to make it look a bit more cozy but it you know we work with the space that we have and I'm very lucky to still have an altar space like this which I can work at it means that I can make my animal medicine jars do my rituals do my spells if I want to sit at it and work on, say, the laptop or if I want to do some journaling or whatever it is, film a YouTube video, it means that this space is fully workable and accessible. So it's what I refer to as sort of a working altar. And it does change. Lots of things change on it, um, but they're predominantly little things. It's the animal medicine jars, the cards, small representations that I change out just depending on how I'm feeling or what season it is. Otherwise, I'm not one for hauling it out too much. That being said, I have done it quite a few times this year. But the reason being is because we got this glorious bookcase, which I'm so happy about. And I'm not going to take you through my whole entire bookcase, but I will give you a a clip now of just a few of the shelves here we are just a really quick look at some of my bookshelf even though i've had this a while now i can't help but just feel so in love with it because it has been so helpful to have a second bookshelf the other one is in a different room. So yes, I do have more books. None of my psychology and psychotherapy books are in here. None of my art and manga books, but there's a nice selection for you. So that's my bookcase. And it meant that my altar table was shrunk down because the sides pull out, but I have now got all this storage solution, which is awesome. This is what it left me with and I have this uh, affordable like shelving solution here and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I'm not going to tell you what all of the representing bits and pieces are because as I say, I want to honour that that was a Patreon thing and I will just explain a few brief bits. I work with animal medicine, so it's a big feature. Animal parts are a big feature. I'm not going to blather on about my ethics, but I will say because otherwise I just have to deal with like a lot of hate um, sometimes is that my particular ethics with animal parts is that they are ethically sourced and predominantly they are from animals that have died of natural causes, otherwise occasionally roadkill, which is unfortunate, but for me that's how i honor the animals it might not be for you and that's totally okay because i work with animal medicine a lot you will see that one of my main animals is featured right in the middle which is the fox i have many foxy things in and around my witchy room that's an animal that i work with a lot my animal medicine work is very physical and very outdoors and very sort of science and eco based as well but it's still spiritual and magical and has all of those elements so it's a really nice blending of both and i've got my wheel of the year because 
whilst I'm not tied to the wheel of the year in ways or I haven't chosen to be in ways that maybe some other practicing witches are I do work with the wheel of the year in my own way so I have my wheel here obviously you can see cards out I've got my daily pool board over here and I will have a deck out that I'm wanting to bond with more regularly so as you can see today I pulled the temperance card from the Mary L tarot this is the second edition and that's one of the decks that I'm really diving into at the moment and then on more of a kind of fun aesthetic seasonal feel so I do have some decks that I work with more seasonally I have the La Vampire Oracle getting my vampire vibes in early this year and this gorgeous gorgeous herb bundle which i will show off is from the one and only mad witch if you do not know who mad witch aka giselle is then you need to remedy that my friends remedy away so like everyone's older i have a lot of stuff that has personal connections to me it's quite animal based it's quite nature based it has to be a good working space for me and then i just move things in and in and around and on and off of the table as i need to and as i feel is pertinent to my practice or whatever craft i'm doing at the time the wood slice that was off to the side that you saw in the beginning is a lovely space for me to do um, spell work, ritual work, have a specific altar space. It's something that I can just slide from the side into the middle as well, pop some candles on it, just protects the table and the uh, table covering. I've just moved the camera up really quickly so you can see the top of it again. As you can see, I've got a couple of animal medicine jars which if you're not familiar with what my animal medicine jars are then i would invite you to head over to instagram or if you really love my work you can join my patreon but you are totally not obliged nevertheless segue the animal medicine cards that goes on the top of my altar each month now is the one that we are working with on my patreon because it means that then if people want me to which some people just work with it on their own that's totally cool but some people want a bit of an insight of how i've worked with certain animals at the month it also means that i can share more ritual ideas and really focus in on that animal it is something that i work alongside my patreons with actively each month so it has a pride and place at the top of my altar with a few of my other knickknacks so there you have it to those who really wanted to quick look that's a quick look i know i didn't go into depth but i explained why however if you do have questions about anything in particular that you want to ask about my altar space or how i work with it or anything you've heard or seen do 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 comment below and we will totally have a chat that's the beauty of the comment section i like it when community gets involved and you know i'd love to hear about your practices your altars feel free to let me know if you've got an altar video up yourself and other than that i will catch you all again soon